Hey everyone! So tonight I'm going to be sharing with you some little goodies that I created for a little Halloween swap that I'm in. I really like the little things that I created for her. The paper collection that I used is the Halloween Spirit Collection by Die Cuts with a View. These are what the papers look like and if you want to see an entire flip through of the whole pad, then go check out my Halloween party. I'll have it linked down below. I flipped through the whole thing and it's super cute. So that's the paper collection that I used. So the first thing I created was a traveler's notebook for her because she had said let's do one main project and then a few small handmade embellishments. So this is my traveler's notebook. I love the little ghosts on the cover and they're so cute. And I just have some journaling cards in here for her. And then I have this little shaker. And then here's the first insert. It's orange with black polka dot. And it's got 40 lined pages. Here's a little 4x6 card. Um, or a little pocket where you, she can put a photo or something. I just put um, paper from the collection. I have created this little folder for her. And I have some more journaling cards from the paper collection in there. Really, really cute. I love this coffin journaling card. So here's the second insert. I love the candies on the inside. I think it's really, really cute. Here is some three by four cards in these little pockets. And then here's her last insert. I love this paper. I think it's adorable. Then she's got another little four by six pocket in the back. And then more journaling cards in this little um, side pocket. So I might still add a little charm and I'm going to be adding a pen to this. So there's my first project. I had also created her some little paper clip bows. So next I created her some rosettes. I love making rosettes. I love making them so much <laughs> and I love making these layered ones. So the paper collection has a sticker sheet in the back. And this is what it looks like. So I used some of the stickers. So that's what I used in the center of my rosettes. I just popped them up on some foam. I have a ghost, a pumpkin, a tombstone, and Frankenstein. And then I used my Avery L treat bag die. And I just added a little cut apart from the collection and I think they came out really, really cute. So while I was making medallions, I decided to make some to go on these little push pops. So I believe uh, Solange has a tutorial, so I'll go ahead and link that down below. So I just wrapped some paper from the collection around the Push Pop. I sewed this crepe paper that I got from Target a couple years ago. It's this um, crepe paper with spider web on it. And I haven't seen it this year, so I'm pretty sad because I wanted to get more and I'm hoarding this. So I went ahead and sewed the crepe paper and kind of fluffed it up. I created the little rosette and just added that to the center, but I didn't do like the layered rosette because I felt like that would have been like way too much. So um, I just added a little circle punch to the middle and then popped up my sticker on some foam. And I also did that little trick where she cuts up a straw and wraps it around the um, handle of the push pop. And then I didn't add my goodies in yet. I just added the crinkle paper in just so it looks pretty on camera for now. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. And then this one is spider themed. So I got the spider paper. I have the spider web straw. I have um, the spider web crepe paper. And then look, it's so cute. And then I love this little trick or treat on the front. So those are my two push pops. The next thing I created for her were these bows. I used my Avery L treat bag die and then I have a little cut apart from the collection with the spiders on it and I added the spider paper behind the bows and then for the bows I use these spider web paper and I love how they turn out because some of them um, I strategically placed the die like where I wanted it so this one has the center of the spider web some of them have the corner of the spider web like see this one has the corner and it just ugh, I love these these came out so good I love them and then the last little thing that I created for her was this little sprinkles mix. So I'm actually going to do a little process video on this, but I was inspired by somebody on Instagram. If I can find the post, I'll link it down below. So I was inspired by her to create my own little Halloween sprinkles mix. 
So I use this punch. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Sprinkles Punch. And I just punched out orange and black cardstock. I have black bat sequins in there and a bunch of orange sequins and black sequins. And I have this tube that I got from um, Hobby Lobby, uh, I believe last year. And then I just tied some ribbon on the top into a little bow. And I think it coordinates pretty well with all the things that I created for her. So these are my handmade goodies that I created for my friend in our little swap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.